Recology operates nearly 30 collection operations on the US West Coast, including recycling, curbside composting, and education services, all part of the resource recovery business. 100% employee owned, Recology sees itself as a partner to the communities it serves. Salvatore Cornelio is the CEO, and I'm talking to him from COP28 in Dubai. So what is Recology's world vision? Recology's vision is to see a world without waste. What does that mean? Uh, a, a world without waste to us means where waste is first reduced and eventually eliminated. And I'll tell you a little bit about our company. We were founded in the early 1900s with immigrants from Italy. Uh, they came to San Francisco and their job was to collect other people's garbage. And they instilled this resource recovery a philosophy or way of doing business back then, uh, you know, and over a century later, that still remains in, our, in the, the core of the culture of our company. Where others see waste, we see value. We see a way to, you know, divert materials from the landfill. So why is the waste management industry so important to consider when we think about the global carbon footprint and addressing climate change? Yeah, it's a great question. I mean, the, the waste industry is so vast and complex, right? There's a lot, of, a lot of areas of opportunity, but I think what's most important and what's most significant to help you know, improve you know, our environment is really what's happening with landfills. Landfills contribute to methane emissions, probably like third largest contributor to methane across the globe. So that just tells you like what the waste industry can do. The waste industry just has such a great uh, responsibility and even just uh, an opportunity to help reduce uh, methane across the globe. Can you discuss how Recology differentiates itself from traditional waste management companies, especially in terms of resource recovery? Yeah, good question. Uh, we're very different than our competitors and we're very proud of that. Uh, first, you know, how we look at landfills. Uh, you know, we're a waste diversion company. I've talked a little bit about that. Uh, that's so important to us. You know, we're, we're trying to find a way to not have to rely on landfills. So we are, we, we're very proud of our recycling system. So we built robust curbside recycling and compost systems and infrastructure to divert waste from landfills. So that's something that makes us very different. We're really, really proud of that. Uh, another way that we're not like our competitors, we focus on policy and we want to have a seat at the table. And there's times we do have a seat at the table. You know, having a, an, an, an emphasis or an influence on policy has, has helped us get here where we are today. Uh, you know, we, we're, we've been very successful here in the U.S. on the West Coast uh, and, you know, help driving change to build recycling programs and waste diversion programs. Uh, lastly, uh, that continued effort on partnerships, right, to get to that circularity uh, you have to have partnerships. There's so many other stakeholders and people involved and businesses that are involved to get to that waste zero uh, philosophy that we adopted. So that partnership is critical. Um, and that was something that makes us different. 2022 uh, was an exciting year for Recology. Uh, I have to tell you, for every ton of greenhouse gases that were emitted by our operation, we avoided 10 times that amount of greenhouse gases uh, through our recycling and compost activities. And that, that's what makes us different, right? And that's the impact Recology has had on climate through waste diversion, recycling and composting. That's what's really special about our company. Tell us more about Recology's advances in composting and uh, how they've inspired similar programs across the industry. Yeah, absolutely. Um, composting is something that we're extremely proud of and something that we're very well known uh, in the waste industry for our composting efforts. And you know, I have to tell you, like in 1996 or around that time, uh, Recology partnered with the city of San Francisco and we uh, developed the first food scrap curbside uh, collection program. That was like the first program in North America at that time. So that was revolutionary. And now you're looking around the United States today, there's about 300 other communities that have taken our lead since then, right? And have kind of recognized the benefits and the opportunities of, of composting. Uh, and we still feel that's revolutionary today. I mean, we know so much today about what food waste does to create methane in landfills. So we're, we're, we're solving that the best we can, right? To reduce landfill emissions by composting and getting food out of the landfill. 
uh, that's a big part of our, our vision to achieve a world without waste is through our composting program. So that's a, a big part of who we are. In your literature, you talk of Recology as being a people-focused company. Yeah, oh my gosh. I mean, people is so important for Recology and for me. I mean, first and foremost, we're 100% employee-owned. We're the largest employee-owned company in the waste industry here in the United States. Uh, that just says so much about the organization and who we are and what we're all about. I mean, every, everywhere from our sorters and truck drivers and managers and frontline employees, they're all, they all have a vested interest and a stake in the company. We're here talking about climate, right? We're here talking about what do we need to do to improve the globe and, and reduce emissions or reduce people's carbon footprint. Well, you need people to do that, right? And we've shown that through our efforts uh, and the type of company we are. You know, by prioritizing people first, we feel like we've created this just very unique culture and it's what's made us different, right? And has helped guide us to be a climate-focused company that sees a world without waste. Great, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me.